I told you I'm a child. You should not be surprised here. Hello everyone. My name is Dawn. Welcome to Van Itty Bitty. I wanted to say I did end up getting a Bluetooth microphone to help with my audio issues. I do not like this one. I may or may not do a bad review on it, but it gets all wonky. It's really disheartening to go edit a video and have everything you're saying. <laughs> so hopefully that's not happening in this video. Today I wanted to go over a couple bathroom solutions I came up with. And I say a couple because I had one completely done and then I found something I liked a little bit better to put it in. With 24 square feet in this van, I can't just have a toilet. It would be the focal point of the whole van. And because of the small real estate I have in here, it has to serve multiple purpose. So I would need it to be a stool, a bed extension, and a bathroom facility. Now this is a bit of a sensitive topic, but you know, with van tours, everybody always wants to know what they use for a toilet. Uh, so it's information that's sought after, yet it's kind of sensitive. And child that I am, I will probably make inappropriate comments and giggle a lot, but I'll try to get through this as a grown up. There are lots of different types of bathroom facilities people have in their vehicles. Whether you have a black tank, a thousand dollar nature's head, composting toilet, a cassette toilet, a bucket, a pail. There, there are many, many different solutions and it really just depends on you. This is a very personal choice and what works for me may not work for you. I at first was going to be going with a cassette toilet because you just take out the, the cartridge, you go dump it and you rinse it out. But then I watched some videos on it and I changed my mind because you have to go dump it and rinse it out. So I decided for me, the most hygienic thing would be a bucket solution. And from there, you can get pretty creative um, with little storage for all your supplies, a diverter, whatever you wanna do, really the sky is the limit. There's different kinds of people too. There's people who swear they will never go in their van and they're perfectly fine just stopping somewhere or using campground facilities or going out in the woods. There are some people who have something in their van, but for emergencies only. I'm the exact opposite. I only want to use public facility in an emergency. I want my own private throne because I am a queen. So I belong to that group of people who want something in their van that they're actually going to use. So my solutions pull from four different channels and from my own little brain, and I will link up the in the description, the other channels, and I would suggest watching their videos on them as well. They have great ideas. So like I said, I went with a bucket solution. I'm gonna show you what I put in it. Well, I'm not gonna show you what I put in it. You know what I mean. I'm gonna show you the materials I use and the mechanics of it before I show you what I'm actually putting it in to camouflage it and to use it as a stool and a bed extension. So knowing I was going to go with a bucket solution, this is the first thing I tried. A Reliance Classic Trash. It rocks. It's cheap. When you sit on it, you feel like you're caving in. Um, I'm like, no. So one of the channels I pulled a lot from is called the Overhead Gear. And they had a real simple solution with a great idea. First, they use a regular Campco bucket. Now this bucket comes with its own lid and seat. I think it's important to note that I haven't used any of the stuff I'm showing you today. It's all brand new and clean. <laughs> okay. All right. So they used a Campco bucket. Now I have my own bucket. It's a white food storage bucket. It's a five gallon bucket, but I bought one of these lids for it because you can just buy the lid as well and it wouldn't fit. And it was actually also a Campco lid. Now they say that this fits on most, but if you look at the reviews, it doesn't fit on the Home Depot or the Lowe's five gallon buckets either. So I was robbed of my brag of being able to tell you that I had everything I needed and didn't have to buy anything except the lid. So anyway, it wouldn't fit. 
so I ended up having to buy my own Camco bucket. The lid pops right off. So then the bag that you use, these are the bags I bought and they're the bags that they suggested. Now, for me, I'm only going to use these as the final line of defense. Because what I like about the bucket is how sanitary it is because it's one use. And you don't want to be throwing these out into the environment after one use. These are heavy duty contractor bags. They don't leak and they come recommended. But yet, they are heavy plastic. So I was watching another video, Dave from No Limit Van Life. Hi Dave. And he suggested using compostable toilet bags. And I'll have a link below. So after each use, if you are putting waste in the bucket, you pull this bag out, tie it up, throw it away, just like you would if you'd picked up after your dog or been throwing away a diaper. Then this bag is still there. It's just your second line of defense. You just tie it up and throw it away. But I got an idea from Dave at No Limit Van Life, and you should go watch his video too. You should watch all four of the ones I posted. His is very environmentally friendly, and I like his ideas. We don't have a planet B. Be responsible. <laughs> so he came up with the ideas of taking these uh, like cardboardy type canisters that will decompose much faster than plastic will, that's for sure. And you can tie up your single use waste in the biodegradable bag and put it in here until you can throw it away. You might even be able to put a few in there and throw it away. That way, when it makes it to the landfill, it's gonna decompose. This is just cardboard and it will decompose everything around it as well. So you're being a responsible person. Great idea, Dave. So these are eight gallon compostable bags and you would just put those over the contractor bag and that's what you'll be throwing away each time. I mean guys it takes what 700 years for plastics to decompose Don't do that to our environment, please. And then that just snaps on. So what the outdoor gear suggested to use as an absorbent material was kitty litter, which you can certainly do. But when talking to Dave about bathroom solutions from No Limit Van Life, he suggested pine pellet horse bedding. I've put them in individual bags for one use, about two cups. These are super absorbent. They really control odor. And as Dave had mentioned, if you ever spilled kitty litter on your carpet, it's pretty hard to sit there and pick up where these would be a lot easier. So you would pour them in. I'm not going to do that because I'm not getting this ready just yet. And then each time, just snap this off. And of course, with each use, vinegar and water, and you spray your and you spray your seat, keep it all nice and clean. To me, this is a much more hygienic solution than a composting toilet or a cassette toilet. Now for me, I'm only going to be using this for waste in emergencies. Even though I don't prefer to use public facilities, I think I don't prefer waste in my van even less or more, <laughs> that works out. But what I will be using this for is uh, number one. <laughs> I uh, go about every 10 minutes and I can't be across the campground or on the interstate 
I can't be running to campground facilities or out into the woods every time. I need something near me. I take a diuretic with my blood pressure medicine to enhance the blood pressure medicine. And as you may know, a diuretic flushes excess fluids from your system. Um, of course, that's processed through your bladder. So I have to go like every 10 minutes. You may say, well, why, why put a diverter in there? If that's all you want it for, then just use a bottle in one of those funnels for women. I refuse to say the cringy name, but you know what I mean. But you have to remember my van is only four feet high. I have bad knees, a bad back, and a very low roof fan. So I don't know what kind of contortionist I would have to be. <laughs> but no, thank you. I want to sit down like a normal person. So what I came up with, and this, I came up with this, but I saw it on travel snacks as well. And I love her bathroom solution. I'm mentioning her later, but she has this exact diverter. And so it kind of validated my purchase. I'm like, oh, good, good. So this is just a canning funnel. You see, they don't have the big long stem on them, which is good. And just a wide mouth bottle I got off of Amazon. And I will, of course, link both of those. So, okay, there we go. <laughs> Excess air is gone. So let me show this. Okay, so you, obviously you don't want your bottle sloshing all over while you're driving. There are a million and one ways to secure this, including putting like a plastic ball here. Um, I think what I'm going to use is something like if you've ever seen a hamster water bottle and the little metal thing that hooks over to hang it on the wall, I think I will use that to go around and just hang right under here. Oh, I don't have that. I don't have that there. To go right under here um, there's a there's a lot of different things but what I need to be able to do is to lift this up quickly to be able to lift it up and get it out in case I do have an emergency and have to use this for waste I don't think there's enough room to not take the diverter out and even if there was you don't want it in the same container because then it's gonna get obviously all over your bottle so this will just come out quickly if I ever have to use it for waste, but it's mostly for, for number one. And then you just go dump the bottle. I wouldn't let it get too full, <laughs> but, and then, uh, you know, rinse it out and put it back in. And of course, after every use, you want to spray your funnel with vinegar and water, wipe it out with a baby wipe. Another product that was suggested by the Outdoor Gear is a product called BioBlue. They're little blue packets, and it's like what you see at an outhouse when you're at a concert or a dog show. Um, but they come in little packets, and it's a toilet deodorizer. Um, if you're not going to put it in something that's going to have liquids, you have to put water in with it, which I don't know how they do when they're using cat litter. And I certainly can't do it with the horse pellets, but I can put it in the diverter. And that's why I bought some. So it helps to deodorize. So I've gone over the mechanics of the bucket and what's going in it and what I'm using for my diverter. Uh, when I figure out what I'm gonna use to secure the bottle in there, but also make it where I can pull it out quickly, I'll share it with you, but there, there are just so many things that you could do that to secure that bottle that, you know, I, and I just haven't done it yet. Now I want to go over how I'm going to turn it into a stool and camouflage it, use it and also use it as a bed extension. Now the outdoor gear has a great idea. And this is what I used on my first solution. And it probably in the end is what I'm going to end up using. And that is to put the bucket in a milk crate. I already have this wooden milk crate. So if you put your bucket in a milk crate, not only does it give it stability, but it's easy to pick up if you want to go put it in a shower tent. And if you use the rect rectangle ones rather than the, the square ones, you also have a place for supplies for your toilet paper, bags, um, absorbent materials, your bottle of vinegar, baby wipes. Okay, so now 
we still have a bucket and a milk crate. It's still pretty obvious on what it is. So I started thinking of solutions of being able to turn into a seat. I didn't want to be sitting directly on the bucket. I wanted this more like to be under something or in something. Now, of course, you can use those storage ottomans. I wasn't able to find one the right size that, that could accommodate the bucket, but I didn't look very hard. If that's what you want to do, that's a great solution and will have room for your supplies as well. So I started looking at wooden stools. I knew the chances of finding one that would fit inside here and be the right height and have the legs far enough apart to accommodate the bucket were pretty slim. But in searching for stools, something else started to appear in the search engine's results, and that was shower stools. So I was thinking, I have a shower stool because I had two knee injuries a couple years ago. And I used to just like randomly fall, and I was afraid I was going to fall in the shower. So I got one, I didn't like it, and I didn't end up really using it. So here's yet another thing I have. And the more I thought about it, the more I liked it because shower stools are weather resistant they're made for someone to sit on and the legs are adjustable so i'm like i wonder if the legs will fit down in my milk crate so i went and got it and tried it it fit right in there so now i have a sturdy weather resistant seat with adjustable legs the milk crate and the toilet so when you want to use it you lift it right out and there's the toilet <clears throat> otherwise when you want to use it for a seat or bed extension, you have the shower seat on there. But still, it's a milk crate with a toilet bucket and a shower seat. We got to find some way to hide that. Well, I found the perfect top cushion for it. This is starting to look a little bit better. Couldn't believe I found the perfect cushion for this. And it has elastic underneath. So you just pull it on and there you go. Now, of course, it's still, you can still see the bucket and part of the shower seat. And my idea is to make a skirt. I haven't done it yet because I'm waiting for the elastic. I didn't have any. But it's to make a pullover skirt for it to, um, you know, to pull down and go right in here. And I have a black towel with me. You can see there on the right. And just to demonstrate what it will look like with a skirt, you might have to use your imagination a little bit. And, of course, the towel will only come down probably to about right here. I'm not sure. But... I want to paint that milk crate white because my kitchen cabinet that I bought is slatted on the side so it'll kind of go with the whole motif. But let me show you what it will look like with a skirt. So there you have it. I made this ridiculous contraption for you. That was my cousin Vinny impersonation. So you still have the room in there to put supplies so you can fit in, you know, your water bottle some pellets, you know, your bags, some wet wipes, you know, whatever you want to put in that you can fit in. And it's all hidden under the skirt. Now, this towel looks absolutely ridiculous, but I have some fabric left over from the bed and I have some, a little bit of fabric left over from the window coverings. So I can make a skirt that looks halfway decent for that. And to be honest, this is probably the solution I'm going to end up using. But after it was done and made, as I said, I got the idea of the pine bedding horse pellets from Dave at No Limit Van Life. And he credits the idea to Joanne from Joanne Plans. And I hadn't gone to look at her video yet till I was already done with this one. So I decided to go watch hers and I had to scroll and find it. And then she had covered several things in the same video, so I had to scroll to that. But she was using something I hadn't thought of. And this is what is so great about watching all the different videos and watching as many as you can, because you will get ideas that you never thought of. She was using an, a deck box, so outdoor patio furniture deck box. And it was really cute. It looked like a little bench. It's 22 inches high, so it's a little too high for my van. My head would be hitting the ceiling if 
while I was using it as a bench. Um, so I had to find something smaller, but I really liked it. Hers is really cute. I wish I could use it. It even has like a top railing, like a bench would, where you would put cushions. It's just super cute. And hers has all kinds of room for supplies. I wish I could fit it, but I can't. Real estate is at a premium in this van. So I looked to find something smaller, and I found two that were smaller, and only one, I believe, were the right dimensions. Um, but you can measure all day long. Uh, until you have the product in front of you, you don't know if something's going to fit or not. And lo and behold, it did not fit. I ordered, I'll show you what I ordered. So I ordered this deck box, and it absolutely was supposed to fit. But what I didn't account for, and they didn't show, are these little ridges on the top, and also the bottom sticks up. I don't, you can't see that, but it sticks up a little bit. So it wouldn't fit in here. So what I decided to do is use it without a toilet seat. Because this rim is so wide, this is another thing they didn't tell you about, and another thing that made it quite difficult to get the bucket in with a lid on it. So this thing is quite wide. I like it actually that it's bigger than the whole, in, or one of those cheap little toilet seats. I sat on it and it's completely comfortable. <laughs> I didn't use it, no. Um, it's just as comfortable as the other one and it's way more comfortable than the first one that I bought that I threw. So like I said, it's not ideal. It's not as functional as the first one. There's no room for storage. Might be able to fit a bottle down there, but you certainly can't fit all your supplies in it, but it looks better, which is not what's important. But as you can see, it does look a lot better. And I'll put a link to where I got this. This is sold at Amazon, at Walmart, at Home Depot. I bought it off Wayfair because the delivery time was much faster. Uh, but I will obviously, I will link to that as well. And what I, what I also like if I am going to use that solution or while I am using that solution is that, like I said, the shower seat has adjustable legs. Here, you know what? I'm going to take that skirt off. Okay. Like I said, the shower seat has adjustable legs. By the way, I did have to take the feet off of these. This had big round rubber feet. So I just popped those off. But what I can do, put the two long legs in there, make these two short. It fits right in and gives me a little stool. Of course, it'll have a skirt around it. But it gives me a little place to sit facing out into the van. You know I'm mad that I can't have a swivel seat, right? You know I'm mad that I can't sit here anymore because of the new overhead shelf, right? So while I'm using that solution, if I still have the real estate after putting in the bed, a kitchen, the toilet, a fridge, and a big fat blue eddy, then I can still use this and have a nice little seat to sit on. Now, after all of this, there's one more channel that was a massive help, and I might have mentioned it earlier, and that was Travel Snacks. I love her solution, and I'm going to build that for myself. So these, I don't want to say they're temporary because it's going to take me a long time, um, but these won't be my final solution. You need to go watch her video on her bathroom solution in her van. It was posted about a year ago, so scroll down. Watch it in its, entire, in its entirety. She uses the same diverter that I'm going to be using, only she has it. It's just her whole thing is ingenious. Um, but it will take me building a box. I don't have a table saw. I have a jigsaw and a miter saw. So it's hard for me to cut panels. You can only have so many cut at Home Depot. I think I need like six cut. So it's going to take me like a couple few trips there saying, can you cut this for me? So, um, yeah. I am eventually going to build exactly what she has, except it won't be as big. 
it won't have the storage in the back it'll just have the storage within and it won't be pulling out because I don't have anything to pull it out from it will instead be like these two are where it'll be a bench and a bed extension um, but identical the mechanics it is really good you got to see that one too so go watch the outdoor gear go say hi to David no limit van life go check out Joanne plans uh, deck box and like I said, she's the one that told Dave about the pine bedding. And definitely go see Travel Snacks Solution. Mwah! If you could do that in regards to a toilet. I don't know. As I said before, my van is empty because in five days I'm having my Max Air fan and a window put in and shore power. At that point, by then I'll have the kitchen put together. It's still in a box in my living room. But by then, I'll be able to put it all together with the bed, the kitchen. It'll have the max air fan and the window and the toilet. And I'll be able to show you the basic bones and how the layout's going to be. And it'll be lots of fun. Okay, thank you for watching. In case anybody is wondering what my shirt it says. says. It says head of the table. Head of the table. Travel chief. Okay. So, I mean, just that looks kind of... Anyway. I told you I'm a child. You should not be surprised here.